Hello and welcome. Yes, today we are putting a 9H screen protector here and one here on the back screen. And I have one over there for the binnacle, but at this point I'm not going to put it on. I've got to get ready for my trip to Wyoming here, so we're just going to do the main screen and we are going to do the rear screen. I purchased the screen protectors from a place called Abstract Ocean, which provides uh, 9H screen protectors for the Rivian. Uh, I purchased it. No one gave it to me. Of course, uh, if you're putting on a Model 3 or Y screen protector, I do recommend the Abstract Ocean screen protectors, mainly because they have a plastic frame that goes around the Model 3 and the Model Y of Tesla, which makes installation of the screen protector drop-dead easy. This is going to be more difficult. I actually have to feel the edge of the screen after cleaning everything, carefully take the screen and lay it against the main monitor here. And then uh, hopefully if I've done my job, all particles of dust and everything will be gone and the screen protector will adhere and providing I've aligned it properly, it'll be on there. That's the hardest part about putting a screen protector on, as you probably know. You've probably installed a screen protector, if anything, on your cell phone maybe. It's really important to make sure the surface is clean and dust-free. Uh, we're going to use some flashlights today. I'm not going to do a lot of narration. I'm going to set the phone up and you can watch me do it. I'll either do it correctly or I'll screw it up. So we'll see how that goes. If I'm really careful, uh, I can get this screen protector on. Now, this is a note to Rivian. The Tesla, of course, has what's called a screen cleaning mode, which means if I touch the screen at all, the uh, screen's not going to move because it's all a black surface. The black surface, of course, gives us a better ability to see any debris. So I'm going to try to choose, which I've selected here on the map, uh, as dark a surface as I can. Uh, I think I may put this in the dark mode, if I can find it here. Okay, so let's say uh, cabin lights are on, display is dark. All right. So we will leave it on dark mode. I will turn the screen's brightness way down. That will give us uh, more ability now to um, uh, see if I go back to nav. Yeah, it's pretty dark here now. And you see what I was talking about? Those are all the fingerprints and things I need to remove. So I'm going to get to that. I'm not going to talk much. It stirs up more dust and debris. They uh, actually recommend that you hold your breath during the entire installation process. Yeah, it's a joke, but it's funny anyway. Let's uh, get the camera set up and we'll take a look. The camera is rolling. It's maybe not the best uh, attitude, but I put it on an angle so you can actually see what's going on. All right, set up all my lights. These lights are useful in identifying uh, issues with dust. I will go ahead and open the screen protector here now. Okay, got a number of uh, screen wipe protector thingamabobs. Should have three with three screens and I do. These guys are usually pretty um, complete. This little tiny screen is for the rear screen. It's uh, glass, it's not plastic. Uh, the front binnacle screen, which we won't get to right now. And uh, I've got uh, the main screen. That's what we'll be working on. So let me put everything in here that I don't need. I'll close this up. Now, if we're really good, or I'm really good, we'll be able to get this baby on. Now, one of the things, let me see here, I'm looking in the camera. 
Yeah, too wide of an angle, I think. All right, I'm going to zoom in just a little, okay? So we can kind of see what I'm doing. There we go. Now I use my flashlight and as you can see, it really shows up dust and dirt. And this is really a key part. You see, we got dust flying around in here now too. And that's because I'm moving around. Well, I'm going to do the clean process and we're going to go as clean as possible here. And uh, if the question is, did I watch the video? I certainly did. They make a good video. Uh, one of the guys there at um, Abstract Ocean uh, did it. He's probably done 10,000 of them, but I'm uh, behind him at only six or eight, probably. All right, so we have a cleaning cloth. We have what's called dust grabbers. Now, these are just labels with printed stuff on them, um, but the key to it is you don't drag it. If you drag it, you'll leave the glue that's on here on your screen, then it's a bugger to clean. So what I'm gonna do is just use it to pull off errant dust. First process is uh, you wash your hands. I washed it very well with a uh, Dawn detergent and tried not to touch anything. As you watch from my previous video, I just finished uh, ceramic coating all the seats and things here in the Rivian. I will uh, not touch any of that, and I have not touched any of that, so I don't have any of the residue from the um, car on my hands, because that would probably be not good either. This is an alcohol-based wipe, so you've got to be quick at it. And this is a uh, job in life is to uh, clean all of the fingerprints off. Okay, so let's get to it here. Now the screen's going to go crazy. See if we can clean all the normally touch spots here. Look, you can see grease on there still. So much for this piece of crap. Okay, maybe that one dried out, I don't know. All right, we're gonna have to go to plan B. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have some really good window cleaner. It's called Spray Away, and I'm gonna use that because that will entirely clean this screen. So let me get that done. I'll be right back. You know, it's one of those things like you're watching TV and all of a sudden you're tired and you fall asleep and all of a sudden, wham, you wake up and the movie's way down the, down the movie and you missed all the good stuff. Well, that just happened. My stupid camera, a friend of mine called and it stopped recording. You missed all the good stuff. You fell asleep. Nah, no, just kidding. The uh, screen protector went on just fine. Uh, I wish I had the frame, but it was clean enough that it all adhered. There was one little piece up here. I gently pulled it back per the instructions and used one of these you know, dust grabbers and carefully removed it, put it back on, and uh, it's on. Let's set up and do the back, and maybe you can actually see me do it in the back. We're now set up here in the back seat. And uh, I'm going to use a little of the um, spray away product because uh, that stuff just works awesome. Yeah, we'll set up a dust grabber, see if there's anything worth sticking. Looks pretty good. We'll take this out of its pack. And uh, it says uh, back and up, so it goes this way, right? And um, if I let it go, it's got a guide here, and it's just relatively easy to center, so that looks good. Okay, one last check for uh, dust. Let's get it done here. Carefully take the backing off the front glass. 
again, it creates a huge amount of static. Don't, it's so staticky, it sticks to my leg. There are two uh, USB holes here. So I will use them as a guide. All right, let's see if we're straight. Come up a little. There, now I'm centered on the USB hole. Okay, we'll start the process here. It's hard to see on the camera, but you can see it walk across there. If I can uh, coax it a little from behind. Okay, actually went down real well, you can see. USB holes are centered. And uh, it looks like looks like the glass in the frame is uh, just touching here, but the USB holes are centered. And I think it'll be fine. Either it'll be fine or it won't be fine. Okay, well there you go. That's the rear glass. Okay, you goaded me into it. I'll do the darn binnacle since I'm on a roll. Let's see if I can do um, three for three. All right, I'm back. How about that? My wife's butt dial disturbed our video. Get the screen out here now. I've uh, chosen to use my spray away product to get the uh, hand grease off other than the... Um, alcohol wipes they provided. Besides, the alcohol wipes seemed uh, kind of uh, old, in my opinion. They uh, were uh, not much alcohol in them, so I don't know. All right, here we are. Pull this out of here. Has yet another plastic sleeve. Uh, and just so you guys can see, you see it says back and left. So that means I've got to turn it this way, right? All right, so one last check. All right, pretty clean. All right, let's give it a whirl. Back and up. Remember this uh, sheet all by itself creates a huge amount of static. So it sticks right there to my leg and don't touch the back of this. Now, without a guide, we have to do our best here in making sure that it's centered and it's uh, where it's supposed to be. So, it's my wife again, probably another butt dial. Once the um, thing sticks to the screen, you can just gently push it around. All right, so here goes. Well, I have to say, it appears to be on. The uh, There's a little bubble right here. Let's see if I can work that out. Yeah, it's gone now. Dang, boys. Pretty level. 
I think we're good. Three screens, yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna burnish it up here with this fancy dancy um, little uh, chamois. Get all everything looking good. And we'll wrap it up. I am done. I hope that last video worked out. I haven't seen it yet. It uh, camera wanted more light. It was in action mode uh, for uh, videoing uh, action stuff. So let's uh, turn the air on now. We can afford it. Mess up a little dust here. That is the end of upgrade number two. Hope that last video turned out. It uh, was in an action mode. Needed more light, it said. Three screens uh, installed. Uh, they went on pretty easy. Uh, the screen protector, pull this dumb thing off, uh, comes from uh, Abstract Ocean. And uh, no, uh, they did not send it to me. Well, yeah, they did. After giving them $68 or whatever, plus tax and uh, shipping, uh, I got it sent to me here. The product uh, is excellent. It seemed to go on okay. The 9H glass screen protector will protect your screens here. Being off-road, you never know. A wombat may come flying through the window and attack you. This way, he won't affect your screen. If you like today's video, give me a like. And if you would, please subscribe. Do not forget about the Tesla referral shown here at the bottom of the screen. It will give you points uh, for the store or anything else you buy, supercharger, whatever. Please use it uh, for purchasing all Tesla products. Um, use my referral link on the Tesla website. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next upgrade video here in the Rivian and take care.